Farmland may not be the most popular of birding destinations, but it covers large areas of Britain and Ireland's countryside and remains an important breeding habitat for several birds. Among these are three buntings, yellowhammer, sole bunting and corn bunting. Another species, reed bunting, regularly uses farmland in winter. Watch the following two clips, then see if you can use the features mentioned to identify the birds in them. We'll play the same clips at the end of the video and reveal the answers. Yellowhammer is the most widespread of the farmland breeding buntings in the British Isles, though they've disappeared from parts of northwest Scotland, Wales and the Pennines, as well as much of Western Ireland. They are mainly resident in the UK and Ireland, and can be found year-round. In the breeding season, male yellowhammers have a bright yellow head, yellow underparts with a variable amount of reddish-brown streaking, and reddish-brown upperparts with black streaks. Many individuals have a dark line behind the eye and round the cheek sides, with a narrower dark line on the sides of the crown. The only other predominantly yellow bird likely to be seen in farmland in the southern half of Britain is yellow wagtail, distinguished by a narrower bill, longer tail and lack of any reddish brown tones. Yellow hammer song is characteristic, giving rise to the familiar mnemonic a little bit of bread and no cheese. Calls include a dry chirp and a short, slow rattle that's often given when taking flight. Male yellowhammers tend to have duller plumage in winter, and both females and young birds of either sex can lack intense yellow colour entirely. In these plumages, the features to look for are any hint of faint yellow wash to the face, the primary feathers, which are the longest wing feathers, and the underparts, and a reddish-brown rump. If you come across yellowhammers in these less conspicuous plumages, spend time scrutinising them to build up your familiarity with all the variation that exists. Between the 1960s and the 1980s, sole buntings were lost from much of their former breeding range across south and southwestern England. Since then, they have been restricted to a narrow coastal strip of South Devon between Plymouth and Exeter. A reintroduction programme took place in Cornwall from 2004 to 2011, and by 2015 the Cornish population had grown to more than 50 pairs. Male soil buntings can be separated from the closely related yellowhammer by their bold blackish eye stripe and throat patch, more washed out yellow underparts, and olive grey nape, upper chest and rump. Females and young birds can be very similar to yellowhammer, the best plumage feature is probably the olive grey rump, compared to reddish brown in yellowhammer. Other more subtle features include finer streaking on the flanks, and often a more prominently striped face pattern. Cell buntings give a fine zit call, and the male's song is a flat, dry trill, often likened to that of lesser whitethroat. Although still fairly widespread in eastern and central areas of lowland Britain, corn bunting has suffered a significant range contraction since the middle of the 20th century, and it's worth checking the Bird Atlas 2007-11 breeding distribution to see if they still breed near you. Corn buntings are chunky, skylark-sized birds. Their plumage is essentially two-toned, with brown upperparts and creamy white underparts, both of which are quite heavily streaked. There aren't many obvious plumage features to look for. Perhaps the best are a pale spot at the rear of the face sides and the way the streaks on the underparts often coalesce to form a dark spot on the upper chest. The other thing that often stands out is the heavy, pale yellowish or pinkish bill, which can look oversized compared to other buntings. Two things that are distinctive about these otherwise rather nondescript buntings are their habit of dangling their legs when making short distance flights and their jangling keys song. Now for those mystery birds. Here they are again. 
This is a female or first winter yellowhammer. The reddish-brown rump is the best way to rule out soil bunting. And that one's a corn bunting, a chunky bird with drab brown and creamy white plumage and a larger bill than the other buntings. Outside the breeding season, the three buntings featured here can form mixed flocks with other ground-feeding passerines, such as finches, sparrows and reed buntings. If you want to learn more about identifying those potential confusion species, watch our videos on winter buntings, linnet and twite, and common sparrows and reed bunting. <laughs>